I've got something new. This is the 1-6 scale Suzuki Jimny from FMS and it looks freaking awesome. And in today's video, we're gonna get it out of the box. We're gonna have a good look over it. We're gonna charge a battery and we're gonna take it for a run. <laughs> Right guys, this is the new Suzuki Jimny from FMS. I think it's an, L, I wanna say LJ10 without getting my phone out. Where is my phone? Here. Thanks Google. Yes, I was right. It is the Suzuki Jimny LJ10. Anyway, let's have a very, very quick look what it says on the box. And then we're gonna admire the box for a few seconds and then we're gonna get it straight out. So officially licensed, one sixth scale. There's all your spill there, 41.2 degree approach angle, 48.44 departure, uh, wheelbase 330 and then at length 545. There's your whip. There's a few other bits about it. There's probably some nice words about it there, which I'm not gonna to read to you. So full set of instructions in, I think it's Chinese and then in English, uh, with all your uh, part numbers at the back, and then uh, all your bits and pieces, all the bits you need to know within there. And as with all these FMS products, the boxes are so nice. Love it. Oh, there she is. Looks good. Well packaged in there. It's definitely not gonna arrive damaged. If it does, it's been through some serious issues on the way to you. Steering trim, throttle trim, steering duration, steering reverse, throttle reverse, bind, channel three. I think this has got a two-speed gearbox, channel three, and then channel four. Not bad. All bar, wing mirrors, and fixings. Oh, what a beauty. Now this has got some absolutely awesome detail. The seats are like a rubber um, material, no padding in them, but they do feel very good. Movable bars on the side there, like the real one, I think. That does come with a roll cage, like I've shown you. Windscreen goes up, I presume. Yeah, so it clips into place like so. Oh, my my wiper. This thing just looks so nice. <laughs> so, so nice. Look at the dashboard. Wow. Pedals. The steering wheel will move on a servo, I am sure. Little grab handle, mirror, real spare wheel. Really nice soft rubber on the wheels, really nice wheels. Nice molded bumper, just overall. What an awesome machine. Underneath it's leaf sprung suspension. You've got front mounted motor. We'll open the, um, the bonnet or the hood in a minute and have a look at that, but front mounted motor going onto a gearbox. Looks like a slipper clutch in there, down to a transfer case that then splits out between the axles. They are locked axles. Plastic drive shafts with uh, metal ends there. Not a lot of movement and flex in the suspension, but I'm guessing, I'm guessing the actual real one wasn't that uh, flexible with that leaf sprung suspension on it. So underneath here, there's your 550 motor. You got a standard size servo in there. Four channel FMS branded uh, receiver. And then looks like maybe a Hobbywing ESC. Yeah, Hobbywing WP1040 ESC. So you've got like a crawler function on there and it will take 3S as well. Guys, this, this thing looks so nice. I think I need to charge a battery up. I'm gonna put the roll cage on. Let's put the roll cage on. Let's put the mirrors on. Let's charge a battery up and then let's just get the transmitter and check the functions on it. I think, is it, I'm sure it's got a two-speed gearbox. Oh, maybe it, maybe it hasn't. Maybe I'm thinking it hasn't, it hasn't. Anyway, anyway, let's get a battery charger, switch it on, and let's look at the main functions, and then we're gonna take it out for a run. So there isn't a two-speed gearbox on it, I thought there was. The channel three and four don't seem to do anything. The lights are permanently on. There isn't any turn signals. It does have um, light buckets, though, for LEDs. Seems to drive nice. It's quite noisy. Well, it's noisy in here. You probably won't hear it as much outside. Relatively good turning circle. It's in crawler mode, so it has got a drag brake on it. You can see there that 
you can change that if you want a normal forward brake reverse. It's just quite harsh. Lift that rear wheel up. <laughs> a couple of things I forgot to show you, the nice Jimny detailing on the uh, the hood there. Metal hinges adds to that quality feel of it. And the steering wheel that moves when you move it. It was sunny earlier. <laughs> Where's it gone? There is some blue skies up there. Right, let's see what the Joker's driving skills are like, shall we? So we're running it 2S at the moment. It will run three. I did make a little mistake about the uh, ESC. Two different types of uh, 1040 and this one's the boat and crawler one so you might not be able to do that uh, forward brake reverse like I said anyway the crawler version is fine for this with that drag brake nice slow control definitely needs a bit more flex in that suspension I'm wondering if removing a couple of the uh, the leafs on the springs will help This thing's so cool. It's so nice to have another 1.6 scale. Obviously you've got the Rock Hobby um, Willys Jeep, but this as well to add to the collection of 1.6 scale scale stuff is awesome. It's a relatively steep climb here. I'm sure it won't have any problems. Plenty of control. That's it, you got it. Nice. Oh. Come on. Dig in. Dig in, there we go. Very nice. Oh, wasn't, I was looking at my camera, not at the truck. Come on. So you do need to watch your line, especially with that um, low sort of low slung chassis and the lack of flex, but still, it's scale, isn't it? It is scale. This is so cool going along this terrain. It's perfect for it. It blends in well. Obviously the Joker doesn't blend in well to this terrain in this truck, but it was either the Joker or Vin Diesel, but I'm saving Vin Diesel for my Jeep. So it was the Joker this time. He's a 12 inch figure, so about one six scale. I did have to trim his feet a little bit. But let's be honest, it's the sort of thing the Joker would do to people anyway, isn't it? Cut their feet off. <laughs> So we're not taking this to do any crawling today because it's not a crawler, it's a trail truck, a scale trail truck. But it's coping with this little terrain perfectly. Nice. Well, that's it for this video, guys. Hope you enjoyed that. This thing is awesome for a little scale, well, not even little, a big scale one sixth rig. Links in the description where you can get it from. I'm going to carry on for a little bit, so stick around if you want to see some more footage of this. Cheers for watching, I'll see you next time.